Having a conversation with a patient who has likely had a recurrent herniation is a very difficult one. They obviously have put aside time and help from loved ones to recover from a surgery, and now you're having this conversation of stepping back to step one, going into the OR again, and having to fix what was already fixed previously. One of the biggest complications that they fear is the risk of re-herniation, uh, mainly because of what that means to them. Uh, and that would typically mean either a repeat discectomy with increased risk because of scar tissue formation, or in some cases, uh, lumbar fusion surgeries. When I talk to the patients about the barricade device, I say that it's the only FDA-approved annular closure device, which is bone-anchored and works as a plug. And so I talk about the weakening of the annulus, which has allowed disc material to herniate and causing nerve compression. And that this device allows us to plug this hole and reduce their risk of reherniation. My decision-making criteria for recommending Barricade is largely based on the patient's overall health status and their activity level, which often can present to me the concern that this patient may be at higher risk for a recurrent herniation. The data and studies have shown that large annular defects have a higher risk of uh, reherniation, and that means to the patient more surgery, more chronic back into leg pain. A relatively healthy patient that's active and has a defect in their disc has need to prevent recurrent disc herniation and barricade device provides that opportunity to implant something to prevent their recurrent herniation.